Welcome back everyone and today I want to sort of ask, well, follow an intriguing story, uh, one which you certainly won't find in the history books and that is that, you know, there are rumours, um, persistent rumours and, and I know you have done research and written on this and are, are, are going to do something for the website along these lines, that Bacon was actually a Tudor prince. Now we know that he was uh, ostensibly to the outside world, he was the son of Sir Nicholas Baker, who was very, uh, Bacon, who was very close to the Queen. But there are persistent rumours that he was a Tudor prince, which means he would have had to have been Elizabeth's child. So can you, can you tell us something about this story and how credible it is? Yes, um, I, act, I, I, I do believe it myself. Mm. You know, I've, I've done a lot of research to see if there's any Back up to it, but the main, um, the main evidence you could say that, that really made people look yes. more carefully mm. is the decipherment of certain ciphers right. that Bacon wrote, mm. and the two fam most famous ones are known as the word cipher and the biliteral cipher. Yeah, and Bacon actually talks about the biliteral cipher mm. um, in his Advancement of Learning book. Yes. Um, so he, he gives the formula for it, how to do it, and yeah. interestingly enough, um, modern computer work, you, you know, is, is based on his biliteral <laughs> cipher, you know, it's all, yes. all developed over yeah. time to that. Mm. Um, but anyway, he, he invented that cipher, whilst, whilst he's in France, mm -hmm. he invented it, um, when he, you know, was still a teenager. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that, that, that cipher story, and it marries with what became known as the word cipher. Mm. And um, I took it upon myself, you know, to check all this out, yeah. all the history it gives. Mm. And um, nearly all of it checks out correct. Yes, yeah. So I thought, well, you know, you can't just make up a cipher. It can't be a fraudulent cipher yeah. or anything. Yeah. If it, it's got all mm. this correct. I mean, there's certain things which don't seem quite right. Mm. But, but the main body of it is and, and also then I started checking up evidence, which others had also done, check yeah. up if, is there evidence for the Queen's son's story? Yeah. And, um, and there is. Mm. Right, there okay, is. so Elizabeth? But it was a big secret, yeah. deliberately kept a big secret. Mm. Now Elizabeth actually became pregnant mm. and... Um, by, can, can we ask by who? Well, <laughs> Uh, early on in Queen Mary's reign, she she um, was imprisoned, mm. and um, so was Robert Dudley. Yeah. And um, in the Tower of London, yes. and they met there and fell in love. Yeah. And they kept that love going. So even when Queen came, when, when Elizabeth became the Queen, yeah, she immediately asked Robert Dudley to be her personal bodyguard. Right. Mm. Uh, and that meant he could be right next allowed, door. Right next door, he mm. could live in chambers, mm. interconnecting chambers to yeah. her, mm. her bedroom chambers. Yeah. You know, because he was mm. her personal bodyguard. Mm. Um, so they could meet whenever they want. Yeah. You know. Yes. And um, the only person who didn't like this was uh, Sir William Cecil, who became Lord Burley, yeah. because the Dudleys, you know, done that attempt to take over the throne before. Lady Jane Grey and so on. Right, so he, he didn't like the fact that he, this guy had influence, no, he, or this family he, he had thought, influence. He thought, you know, if, mm. if the Queen marries this guy, then mm. um, he'll just take over. Yeah, yeah. And, um, mm. and so he will look, Burley always worked against that to stop yeah. it happening. Yeah. But um, as, as the reign progressed, the Queen, the, the Lester did his utmost to see if the Queen would marry him. So he became, she, she made him Lord Lester, did she? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, so here, here they are, they're young people at the time, they're, they're in the town, they fall in love, they obviously yeah. have an affair, uh, which carries on once she comes she to gets the throne. Pregnant. She gets pregnant, so she disappears uh, from public sight for a couple mm. of months, obviously when she's yeah. very big. Yeah. And the um, Spanish ambassador, I think also the French ambassador, so the Spanish one, he mm. writes home saying, um, yeah. Queen of Queen's expecting a child. Yeah, so it's a sort of, um, everybody knows but nobody yeah. talks about it. <laughs> well, well, at that time, the Earl of Leicester, he, he, mm. was, um, he was married, already married. Right. So then, mm. 
then you have this awful thing that um, his wife suddenly dies or, or fall, falls from a staircase. Yes. And dies. Yeah. And, that, and that's still, there's still question marks to go about. Did she fall or was she yeah, pushed well, under? Yeah, mm. obviously a cover up uh, yeah. investigation. Mm. And um, well, the, cy the ciphers I've read are absolutely, you know, the Queen ordered it. Right, yes. She wanted to marry him. Because otherwise she, she would have she a, a, a bastard child. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So, um, and then she did marry secretly, but not in public. Mm. That's the problem. Yeah. But she married secretly at um, Wil Wilton House. Mm. And Sir Nicholas Bacon too could oversee that because of his mm. role as the Lord Keeper yeah. of the reign. And yeah. then there would have been a priest mm. there as well. And, um, and there were records kept of that for some time, but then mm. eventually destroyed. Yeah. Mm. Um, but it's you know it's mentioned in, yes. in, in various places, and then um, and then she, she gives birth. And uh, and, uh, and, do, and do we know where she gave birth? Or any interest? Well, in, in Whitehall Palace, right, mm. um, which was then called York Palace. Yeah. So you had York House and you had York Palace. Yeah, next door to each other. Next door to each other. And um, so it would, you know, that's, that's where she was hiding, if you like. Yes, you know. yes. Well, at that time, uh, Lady Anne Bacon was the chief lady after the Queen because she was the wife of Sir Nicholas Bacon, yeah. um, who was like second to, to the Queen. That's yes. the position of the Lord Keeper of the Great Seal. Yeah. And so she, any wife of the Lord Keeper or Lord Chancellor becomes the the primary lady of the realm, yeah. even if she's not of nobility, and um, or, or that she would have been, her, her husband would have been a noble. Yes, yeah. And then, mm. and so on. But uh, but um, Sir Nicholas was still at that time called Sir Nicholas, so she was only lady. Yes, mm. um, Lady Anne Bacon, but she was the chief woman of the realm, mm. chief lady of the realm. Um, so she would be the chief lady in waiting. See. To the queen, yeah, so close to the yeah. queen. Yeah, and she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And um, so the story is, it's, which is in cipher, this particular story is in cipher, as when the queen gave birth, she wanted to have the child killed because it was embarrassing. Yeah. But Lady Anne was there helping, mm. and um, she said, Look, look, give me the child. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to give birth myself. And when yeah. I give birth, I say, I've got twins. Yeah. Mm. So the Queen agreed to that. Mm. So Lady Anne could easily take the child back to yeah. York, mm. York House. And a um, short while later she gave birth to her own child, but that was a stillbirth. Right, yeah. Mm. Um, but she had Francis, so she yes. could from then on say, Francis yeah. is, is my son. Yes. And the had, apparently, again according to the ciphers, the Queen had promised that she would never uh, that, that Lady Anne could bring up Francis as her own son, and the Queen would never yeah. claim yeah. claim him mm. for her own. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that was the promise given. So yeah. Lady Anne really did bring up Francis, yeah. as she did Anthony, as as her children. Yes. Yes. And so Francis never knew um, until he was a teenager who his, his natural mother was. And how did how did you find out? Well, that happened um, again. Gaines is in cipher. Mm. Because it was, you know, it's a state secret. Yes. Oh gosh. And, uh, <laughs> People lost their heads for less, yeah. didn't they? <laughs> and um, the secret was blurted out by some ladies in waiting, and oh. um, you know, with the Queen there and Francis there as a young boy. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, he was no, he was thirteen, fifteen then. Yeah. Fifteen, and um, so he he could he overheard what was said. Yeah. And, um, and the Queen tacked this lady in waiting. She mm. said, how dare you say these things yeah, yeah. out loud. And, um, and Francis went to, he didn't know, yeah. but he went to try to draw the Queen off yeah. so that she wouldn't stab this lady in waiting. She'd got a knife out going to stab wow. her. And he, he said, so, Madam, Madam, you know, what's the matter sort of thing? Mm. So she turned around furious mm. and threw her fury at Francis. Mm. And, and said, how dare you talk to your mother like that? Wow. Mm. And, and, and of course he was devastated. Yeah, yeah, I you will know, be. It was shock, absolute shock. So Everything he, you think you know about yourself yeah. is a lie. So mm. he went, went and found his, you know, Lady Anne, mm. who he thought was his mother, mm. said, is the story true? And Lady mm. Anne said, yes, true it is. Mm. And shortly after that, the Queen sent Francis abroad. 
mm. um, to go to France um, to be educated as a prince, basically. Yeah. Being so she, in the she, French court, learning everything a, yeah. a prince would need to learn, and so on like that. So the the kind of the, well, you you might think that she was undecided about whether she would actually claim him as her son. Well, I think she was going to because. Mm. When, when she's pregnant, or, or, short, or shortly after she gives birth, yes. she went to um, Parliament and had the law changed for the law of succession. So she had it changed from a legally born son mm. to a naturally born son. son. So it, it was, was, didn't matter who the father was, it didn't matter if she was not married. Right. She could claim anyone who was a natural child as, right. as, as her heir. And she must have done that for a reason. She must have done it for a reason, yeah. yeah. Mm. So it seems pretty clear she intended to yeah. mm. one day acknowledge him. Yeah. And um, but but that never happened, did no, it? No, it never happened. Yeah. I think she was. Well, Burley didn't help. You know, he was, mm. he was always anti this. Very blocking. The whole always time. blocking because mm. um, he, he, the father was Leicester. Yes. Yeah. He was very anti Leicester. Yeah. And um, and Robert Cecil, Lord Burley's son, he carried on this. Yes. This antipathy. There was, he, was, he was very um, antagonistic towards yeah. Francis Bacon, wasn't he? Well, he was, and anti Bacon too. Yeah. And he, he yeah. even said to anti Bacon's face, he said, I have vowed to see you and your brother Francis completely debased and out of the picture. As Why? Well. I mean, what? what do you Where have? does that come I from? Absolute hate. Well, mm -hmm. I think. Um, in, in the scene where the truth mm. came out, mm. Lady in Waiting, um, it all started because the ladies in waiting were teasing Robert Cecil, who was also there, and he yeah. was a hunchback. Yeah. So they were te teasing him because of his yeah. abnormalities. And of course, he naturally took offence at this. Yes. And, but the Queen loved it. She teased him too. Mm. So he hated the Queen. Yeah. yeah. He actually yeah. hated the Queen. Yeah. And so that was the Queen's son. He was going yeah. to hate the yeah. Queen's son. Absolutely. So. And then because Anthony Baker was the, the brother, as it were. Yeah, yeah, by extension. By extension. There's no logic in it, is there? No. <laughs> mm. No, it's so mm. sad. It is. It's such a sad story, really. Mm. But anyway, the, um, the birth happened, and again the ambassador wrote home saying the Queen's given birth. You know, so, it's still there in writing. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and the only one it could have been is Francis. Yes. Francis yeah. Baker. And um, that's how and, it happened. You know, this cover-up is still, you know, um, Orthodox history is still providing the cover-up today, because as you're saying, you know, there's, there's plenty of hints and clues. Yeah, but, but it, it could, could, have, could have mattered, you know, years ago, it could have mattered to the oh. whole idea of sovereignty and yeah. upset it, but it no. doesn't matter nowadays, no, no, you know. No. And, um, yeah. you know, I expect the royal family have had lots of illegitimate children. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, more than a few. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the thing is, in that mm. day, because the law has changed, mm. the Queen could, and obviously intended, to name Francis as her heir. Yeah. So um, here he is in his teens, so he finds out that all of a sudden he is a Tudor prince, only unclaimed, his yeah. mother uh, doesn't claim him. So he's in a really invidious position from that point on. <coughs> is, is, he, is he ever going to be, he's really the heir to the throne? but not acknowledged, mm. and, yeah, I mean... No, well, he's, he's sent straight, <laughs> off straight to France, mm. um, which he loved, by the way, which yeah. says that's some of the best years of his life, yeah. um, to be educated like yes. a prince. He yes. comes back, and he's expecting, you know, to be treated, at least yeah. like one of the poets, French yeah. poets were treated, because yeah. mm. uh, the chief poet, French poet, Ronsard, he was given a throne next to the king, Wow. to sit on, yeah. um, mm. and, and poetry is held in high esteem, mm. and, um, and he'd obviously been promised something similar in England, but he doesn't get it, I think Burley always stopped him actually, because mm. he was the biggest, once Sir Nicholas Bacon had died, mm. Lord Burley became the big influence to the Queen, yeah. Yeah. and manipulated it, but anyway, that position that Bacon was expecting never happened, he kept writing, saying, mm. Don't forget your promise to me. Yeah. For twelve years, and then eventually Wright says, "I, I, I give up." Yeah, yeah. Mm. I give up. Mm. Um, 
Um, and, but the Queen was determined to keep Francis close to her. That's why he was made her Queen's Counsel. Yeah, yeah. So he could have access to her day or night, yeah. whenever she wanted, and yeah, so this on. It's really strange push me pull you going on. Yeah. yeah poor, I mean, it must have been quite confusing and very difficult emotionally to handle. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah, and she never, never allowed him to. Well, I think again it was Bernie, but, but she never allowed him to mm. go into a higher position than yeah, that. Yeah. So she had him under her thumb, mm. and controlled him as Queen's mm. Counsel without yeah. much money. Yeah. Um, which, you know, what she seen what her father had done. Yes. To all his wives and so on. Yeah, she, yeah. Yes. She thought, well, yeah. you know, I want to be taken over, you know, mm. because people. In those days, they, people still preferred a, a, a king to a yes. queen, yeah. Yeah. and um, yeah. and people like Francis. Yeah, know, yeah. So she never, she never named him as her, her heir, even towards the end. No, no. Mm. Um, I mean, there's this another cipher story about that, but that's for another time. Really. Yeah, and then. Um, well, he married, didn't he, at one point? And he married yes. in a way that made sure... He, he, mm. After King James came to the throne... Because mm. um, he was a potential threat to King James. This, he was, he was, this was one of those secret, yes. secrets, but... King James clearly knew. Yeah. Mm. Knew the secret. Um, so he married uh, quite a young person. She was only 15 when he got married. Mm. Um, but all the evidence points that King James appointed this person out for... Bacon, Francis right. Bacon to marry, so mm. you marry her, mm. she's a commoner, therefore if you marry a commoner then you yeah. can't be king, you yeah. Know? Yeah. that's how the rule was in those days. Yeah, yeah. so that, that kind of made James safe, Yeah. yeah. So, without having to cut Francis' head off. Yeah. <laughs> so, <it's, Yeah>. so <laughs> Marry this one or there's the tower. <laughs> and when, when the couple get married, mm. um, they're dressed, Francis has them both dressed top top to toe in purple. Yeah. And At least I'm not, actually I'm not sure she is, but he, he certainly is dressed top to toe in purple. And the significance of that? Well, only royalty was allowed to wear purple all over. Right. Nobility could, or allowed a little bit of purple, but to wear total purple totally over your body, that was a royal prerogative. Right, so and he claimed statement. it. He claimed That's it. his one public. And he got away with it. Yeah. So, you know, there's yeah. a little evidence. Yes. And he did the same again when he did become Lord Keeper of the Great Seal. Mm -hmm. uh, King James went up to Scotland for six months, yeah. you know, on, on mm -hmm. progress to see his Scottish yeah. people. And he put um, Francis Bacon as Lord Keeper mm -hmm. in charge, as Regent of England. Right, so he did actually sit So he did the same again, he dressed all in purple to go to Parliament, to address Parliament. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. So, yeah, there are just hints of it. There are hints, hints of it, it, and there are, there are other hints too in, mm. in various books and, um, and other writings which people can read. They're not, yes. they're not in cipher, they're just yeah. there, but yeah. they're, they're hints. Yes. You know, and you put it all together, it, it gives a pretty good yeah. picture of it. Yeah. Well, amazing. Yeah. There you go, a lost Tudor prince. Lost Tudor uh, I, prince. I mean, there's a, there's a film in this. I feel there's a film in this somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a fascinating story, Peter, so thank you so much for sharing it with us. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs>